What's going on, family? It's your guy, Boro, the Lucky Libra. Thank you for tuning in to another episode. As you can see by the title, we're picking up the signs through the seventh house. Well, we're starting the signs through the seventh house series with Aries in the seventh house. Shout out to all my Libra Risings in the building. Before we get into it, make sure to tap into my website if you like to connect with the Lucky Libra. Tap into my Patreon if you like to dive deeper. Like, share, subscribe. Y'all know what it is, family. Let's circulate these gems. Let's get right into it. Now, when we look at the seventh house, that's a very critical house in the chart. Right? Why? Because this is the house that rules relationships. How we deal with connecting with others on a one on one level, all right? How we deal with balancing our first house, right? The opposite house, our personality, our personal outlook in the world within the external realm within uh, uh, environments where we're, uh, we have the ability to relate connect communicate with others all right now when it comes to one-on-one -on -one relationship this makes intimate romantic relationships a big influence in this house so depending on what influences you have in your seventh house is going to say a whole lot about things you may experience when it comes to dealing with connecting with others on a one-on-one -on -one level keep in mind this is not just intimate romantic relationships this has a strong influence of that here including energies dealing with your venus but um and also really the energy makeup of your whole chart uh, you gotta understand your whole chart you're a walking ball of energy all right of different of planets in different positions, making different angles, aspects. So you have your unique, your unique frequency, and that alone, the the accumulation of all that energy will attract certain things. So sometimes it's not just based off certain placements. But when we do look at that seventh house, it shows the influence we deal with trying to take that first house energy and connect it with others. This is a cardinal house. All right, we know the cardinal houses are the most important. So. We got my Libra Risings, Aries in the seventh house. Now your seventh house is automatically gonna be the opposite sign in your first house. Even if your first house, even if you are a 29 degree Libra rising, you're gonna have a 29 degree uh Aries seventh house. So obviously, you know, you would have a huge um Taurus influence within that energy too. So you guys always want to take into account intercepted signs, you know. Uh, two signs in the house. You're experiencing. You could damn near say you're experiencing a cusp-like energy in that house. All right. Now, uh, with Aries in the seventh house, listen. Aries ruled by Mars, cardinal fire, likes to initiate and start and take action when it comes to their intentions, their awareness, real individual. And when it comes to Aries in the seventh house, now this house deals with relationships, and you throw one of the most individual signs in this house. So saying Libra Rising's relationships are intense, that might be an understatement. That might be an understatement saying that shit. You feel me? Now, the Libra personality is going to be cooperative, accommodating, you know, relatable, even in situations where they don't want to be relatable. They may still come off relatable to keep the harmony. That's the personality. That's how the personal outlook is going to be on things, right? That's how people even perceive them to be. You know, even if the sun is in this, is in Scorpio and the moon is in Capricorn or some shit, that Libra personality is going to come off as them being relatable in some type of shape or form. And because that's their personality, that's going to influence how they look at things from a fair perspective with situations, with relationships. So when it comes into the seventh house, man, Libra going to, Libra rise you're going to attract some intense partners here maybe selfish partners real single-minded partners forceful aggressive partners you could exp you could experience a lot of um a lot of intense relationships friendships that that maybe real was real high and then real low hard to find a medium in relationships here so it's almost like you know you date and maybe you know you you date this one person and uh them couple months, whatever, it was so high. It was real passion. It was real intense. Or it could be even a longer relationship. And then it seems like things fizzle out quick. Almost seems like things come to an end quick because, you know, Aries can burn a bridge on its own. So when you put it in the seventh house, you may deal with impatient individuals or you may be placed in a lot of situations and relationships. People try to speed you up. You know, you can't take your, you can't uh, utilize your personality, your uh, balanced, fair way of looking at things to even take time to to uh, situate something in relationships because somebody always trying to speed you up, rush you up probably, or put a certain time frame to get things going. Right? Aries and patience. So you may experience that in your relationship, dealing with people a lot of the time. All right. Um, there would, you can, ex but you can experience passion. We can expect some passion to be there in our relationships. Can expect some emotional partners. We expect some emotional partners here. 
all right? Fire gonna throw some feeling in it. Fire gonna throw some, you know, some, once again, gonna make it intense, intense, it, no matter what fire sign it is, but obviously Aries, we got the Mars influence here, right? So that brings more of a charge to things, right? Uh, and when you put that airy here, you gotta be careful of dealing with, you know, power and controlling like situations in the seventh house, you know? It could be with this could be with your relationship with your boss, manager, this could be with a co-worker, this could be with an intimate partner, this could be with a friend. You gotta be careful of people trying to manipulate you, be power and controlling. Uh, like I said, force you to do things against your will. A lot of the times your personality may come off like you were gonna say yes anyways. So with areas in the seventh house. You got to make sure sometimes it's not their fault. They think you was about to be with the shits or with a certain plan or with a certain situation or you was going to be okay staying that extra hour instead of them asking you, can you stay an extra hour? You feel me? So in situations like that, you got to make sure you got your boundaries up, liberalizing. You got to make sure you got your boundaries up in that situation, in that space. If you go to, if we go to all the videos that I talk about energies with the rising signs and energies in the first house, you know, Libra rising, that's something that you learn how to find balance in relationships, not making sure you're overly compromising self for relationships at times. And you're in situations where you're appreciated and you're valued. And you got to make sure you don't start to adapt certain energies because this is what, this is what's going to happen here with Aries in the seventh house is going to put you in a position where certain relationships or interactions or experiences you have connecting with certain individuals is going to make you feel like you got to be selfish you got to be real individual and at times it's going to be just just to be that at times it's going to be you're going to be reasonable for being more selfish in a certain situation right so, you know, you got to make sure where, what type of foundation builds situations where you, you, you don't have to go to the extreme. You don't have to say, man, fuck everybody. Like I ain't dealing with no relationships. I'm to myself. Now you in that, now you, that seven house puts you to an extreme energy, you know, that now is just neglecting what your first house is, you know, as being cooperative, relatable, still be understanding when it comes to dealing with other people, that certain situations where people can push you into that energy, Libra rise. So you got to be careful of what type of vibrations your relationships, uh, uh, dictate how you personally move. You always want to make sure you learn from them, right? We do a lot of learning in this house, everybody, every rising sign. Um, so, you know, uh, you got to be careful of that, of adapting, you know, that super, I don't want to say super, but that like, you know, I got to get minds, fuck everybody type of mindset with Aries here based off of what you may have experienced. Uh, you're going to have a circle. You're, you're going to have people in the summer house that be ready to ride though. You can have people in the seven houses that's gonna be ready to ride, though. I tell you that, you know, Aries, Aries, um, Aries ain't running from no confrontation. So you may attract intense people in your life, period. So you may have uh, uh, friends or you know people you close with or whatnot, and you know. I ain't say they got to be gangbangers or anything like cold criminals, but you know, you'll have a lot of times Libra Rising, you may have that type of uh, relationship. It could be a friendship. It could even be a form of a partnership that, you know, you feel protected in or whatnot, or you feel like this person is always going to have your back. But in some type of shape or form, it's going to be somebody that comes out this house that be ready to ride for you, go to war for you in some type of shape or form. You'll know, it, it, you Libra Rising, you may start to develop those characteristics yourself, having areas in the seventh house. Like you only want to keep people around with you that you know you're ready to ride for. You don't want people around you that you feel like if shit hits the fan, you don't know how they're going to move. And, and Libra energy helps you to really understand people sometimes more than yourself. So being a Libra Rising, you'll, kind of, you'll pick up on that, you know. That's where that little subtle sense of like feeling like, yo, what, you know, what type of person is this in my life or whatnot? Libra Rising probably be thinking like that a lot of the time when it comes to people that they're around because it may be a lot of transformation with Aries in the seventh house when it comes to their relationships. May go into relationships feeling like the shit gonna change eventually. Like, so let's just ride it out while it's here because things can fizzle out quick sometimes with Aries in this house. Now, now we want to know where Mars is at because Mars is the house lord. So whatever house Mars is in is going to dictate a whole lot of what's also going on in that in the seventh house. All right. So if you got Mars in the fourth house, going to be a lot of 
uh, influences with your family environment, things that's private to you or things connected to the home, your parents maybe, or where you grew up connected in your relationships in some type of shape or form or things that deal with you learning emotional stability in your relationships. You know, you got Mars in the 10th house. It might be a lot of influences where you develop relationships in the work field, on career field, or around things you're known for, around things you brand or, or you brand yourself as, you know, or you broadcast yourself as. You got Mars in the 11th house. Shit, when you just out in the, in the public world, when you out dealing with group environments, Environments, community work, you know, things with teams, partners, uh, uh, associates, you you, found, you find love out there too, you know, so it, that's very important knowing the house lord for the seventh house, um, you know, you can find a lot of compatibility connecting with people in that house, uh, but yeah, man, Aries is real passionate partner, <laughs> the real, the passionate partner, the passionate or the forceful partner, I want to, I'm going to try to come up with some more, uh, with certain titles for the uh for these signs to the houses series but um yeah that's that's basically what covers it against the board you know i think one of the most important things for libra rising to understand what areas in the summer house is you are going to manifest situations in your life dealing with people that influence you to understand why it's important to be individual it's almost like you'll be in a situation maybe you're dating somebody or you was cool with somebody and there's something you was really dying to do with them and you realized in that moment or in the midst of you trying to persuade them or get them to be on something you're on right because the libra personality is relatable I like to do things with others and when it comes to day personal things right you'll realize how when you try to get people to be on your type timing it'll you'll have situations where you're like damn they're not even they on they type timing and i can't even be mad they trying to get what they personally trying to get i gotta learn how to adapt that that's that's to me one of the most important things to understand about what aries at times is trying to teach you in this house all right may have to use some real selfish other individuals for you to kind of understand maybe how you haven't been going to get a piece of your kick libra rising Okay, but yeah, I think that covers it across the board for the most part. Aries. Aries in the seventh house. And another thing, another thing. This Aries here, it's Mars energy. You got Venus and Mars energy between the first and the seventh house. So, like, you you can get into a lot of, like, like I said, things happen fast sometimes with Libra Rises and we're dealing with people in relationships. So, you got to make sure... Uh, People, I feel like with Aries here, people will play will play on your lust, on your temptations to to get you in a certain palm of your hand, Libra rising. So it's almost like it get real. And Aries get real hot and intense if you if you get where I'm going with it. So you gotta be cautious what you doing, who you doing, how you doing it. All right, if you if you if you pick that up, what I mean, Libra rising. I know Libra rising. Like, boy, I get what you say. So all right. All right, hold it down. But y'all already know the vibes, man. That's Aries in the summer house. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, tap into my Patreon if you like to dive deeper, tap into my website if you like to connect with the Lucky Libra. And next episode, we're going to be getting into Taurus in the seventh house. Until next time, family, peace.